man. These queso lays are crazy right now. I feel like I'm being... My appetite is so weird. I've been eating croissant bread all day and chips. I need to get some real food. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the new drop of Sony's 50 millimeter 1.4. And if you are new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this content. I hope it's helpful to you in some way and that you stick around. Now let's get into the topic of this video. 50 millimeter 1.4. Sony, what are you doing? I'm a Sony user. I love Sony cameras and lenses, but I am just, I just don't understand what Sony is doing right now. From the reviews that I've seen, <clears throat> Now, mind you, I don't have the 1.4 in my hands to actually test it myself. Hopefully my channel grows so that Sony will send me stuff like that so I can do that in field testing. But right now, from the other reviews I've been watching, the basic shape is the same, just a little tiny bit smaller. Has the same button, same on and off click, custom button settings, just smaller, lighter. And I know that I know that G Master, the brand itself, is really good. So I know the lens itself, the 1.4, will be amazing. I just don't understand why they would make it now and possibly ruin the sales for the 1.2. Like, why would I buy the 1.2 if I didn't have it and I was looking for it? Why would I buy the 1.2 now when I can save $700 and get something else, maybe some audio or some good lighting equipment? Regardless, I feel like they're coming out with too many lenses that are exactly the same just a little bit different. My overall thoughts, if you were looking into getting the 1.2, now that the 1.4 is dropping, there's really no need to get this, uh, especially if you were looking to save some money. I'm really interested to do some infill testing to see if I could tell the difference, but I doubt it. I'll probably rent it just to find out, but a 1.2 to 1.4 difference is not big enough for me to, if I didn't have the lens to actually buy it. Oh man, something out of my eye. Now, if you already have the 51.2, we're not complaining because this is still an amazing lens. Um, but now the 1.4 is dropping. It just seems like an expensive choice. So I would love to know what you think. Please comment below. Do you think the 1.2 is worth getting anymore or are your eyes set on the 1.4? Or are you not a fan of 50 millimeter anyway and this is just something that you're going to ignore? Regardless, I want to know your thoughts. Please comment below and I will see you in the next video.